What up, peeps? Let me uh, talk to you about a little movie that I was lucky enough to get a free screening of. Was it lucky? Yeah. Yeah, anytime you can get a free screening, it's lucky. It's fun. It's good. Well, anyway, the movie is Triple Nine, which is a new crime drama, new action thriller directed by a guy named John Hillcoat. Now, this guy has done some pretty decent stuff. He's done films like Lawless with uh, Tom Hardy, uh, The Proposition, which was a Western, <clears throat> and The Road, The Road with Viggo Mortensen. Now, if you've seen those films, then you got a sense that this guy likes to take a more artistic approach rather than make quick, uh, you know, happy mainstream films. However, however, with this film, it seems like he's kind of taking a crack at, you know, a more urban, more gangsterlicious type of film. Why did I say that? Gangsterlicious. Wow. But anyhow, <clears throat> this movie, uh, you know, when I saw the trailer, the Red Band trailer, I got excited. I'm like, that's my kind of movie. I gotta see that. And with the cast that it had, damn, man, you're talking about Chiwetel Ejiofor, Kate Winslet, Anthony Mackie, Casey Affleck, Woody Harrelson, uh, Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead, Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad, uh, God, there's, there's quite a few more, Clifton Collins Jr., uh, just really outstanding cast and a great looking R-rated action thriller. I love these kind of movies. I love gangster, you know, mafia, corrupt cop dramas with action. And this looked like my kind of film. Now that I've seen it, it wasn't what I wanted it to be, uh, unfortunately. Um, Story-wise, you know, the basic plot is this group of uh, thieves, professional thieves, uh, well, two of the, uh, it's a group of five, two of these guys happen to be corrupt, uh, Atlanta PD detectives. Uh, they're basically being forced to pull off a very dangerous heist by the Russian Mafia. Uh, so their plan is to murder a rookie cop, played by Casey Affleck, uh, so that they can call it in as a 999, uh, a 999 incident, which means officer down, all units drop everything, get to that destination. While they're doing that, the criminals, the other criminals, will pull off the heist. So that's the plot. Uh, now, <laughs> the funny thing is, it's pretty straightforward, and these kind of movies are never hard to understand or to follow. But the way this film is edited, and this is quite unusual, because this director usually takes his time telling his stories. But in this film, since there's so much going on, so many useless and boring subplots, it's all mixed together so sporadically that it kind of is hard to follow. Top it off with a lot of really phoned in performances, a lot of yelling and screaming. It, it really just kind of it turned me off to everything going on. I was really quite annoyed with the film, to be quite honest. I was bored, in fact, and I couldn't believe it because I really love these kind of films. But this, this just wasn't that good. Now, there were some good things about it. And by the way, my dog is snoring. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up on that. So if you're wondering what the hell, it's my dog. La loud. You are loud. But anyhow, uh, lost my train of thought because of snoring. Basically, what I'm saying is, with this kind of cast, and with this kind of talent, this movie should have been pretty damn good, at least. You know, I, I would be, it would be naive of me to think that this movie could break new ground, could be something 
outstanding, but it could have tried. It could have been a, you know, something. But really, as, as I was watching it, I just, I was actually looking forward to it ending. Oh yeah, the good parts. Okay, there are some good, there are some positives. Let's not completely hate on this movie. There are, there are some great intense moments. Good action sequences. Uh, good, oh hi, hi screen. Uh, good, um, there's a scene where these cops are chasing a gangbanger through an uh, apartment complex and it results into a pretty intense gunfight. Um, the high scenes are well done and there are some scenes where characters are, are kind of revealing themselves revealing? <laughs> revealing themselves uh, and there's a lot of tension between some of the characters that I really liked. But as I said, the performances were very phoned in. Uh, Norman Reedus and Aaron Paul, for all you women that love those guys, I'm gonna tell you that they are wasted and completely just... They're not appealing in this film, okay? Uh, and for anyone who, who is keeping their eyes on Gal Gadot, or Gal Gadot, whatever, um, she's barely in the movie. This ain't gonna make, this ain't going to make you, or convince you that she's a good actress. There's really nothing, nothing for her to do. And that's the problem, these characters are not well written. They're not interesting. And it's really disappointing. Uh, but Woody Harrelson, however, Woody Harrelson does another positive. His performance isn't outstanding. Jesus, you are loud. But the way he carries himself, the way he interacts with everybody else makes, makes his role quite entertaining. Uh, he's a veteran, uh, sergeant detective, and he bends the rules, he does drugs, he hangs out with trannies, but essentially he's a good cop. And Woody Harrelson plays him very well even though it sounds like he is chewing tobacco throughout the whole movie. That's pretty much it, guys. If you were looking forward to a really good gangster drama, action thriller, they're saying it. I, I gotta be real with you guys. I was looking forward to this film, and I really didn't care for it. And I'm so disappointed because of the talent behind it. Wow! You might be snoozing. You might be snoozing. Look at this freaking dog. Oh, you can't see him. Hold on, yeah, you can. I'll make you, I'll make you see this freaking dog. Just hanging out there. That's gonna be you. That's gonna be you if you go see Triple Nine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that was, that was odd, huh? Messing up, messing up the camera and everything. Trust me, that's a lot more exciting than Triple Nine, okay? Triple Nine, just wait for it to be on Blu-ray, digital download. It's not worth going to see. It really isn't. But if you do want to see it, please let me know. If you saw it, you liked it, let me know. Disagree with me. I don't mind. I really want to hear what you guys really enjoyed about it. So, in the comment box below, let me know if you're going to see the film. Uh, or if you would rather stay home and watch a better crime drama than this. And that's a good question. What are some good crime dramas that you love? And even some that you hate. <clears throat> uh, obviously, Training Day is great. And for me, a film like Street Kings was actually better than this film. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to give the movie a 2.5 out of 5. If you're new to my channel, check... Uh, you know, keep, you know, sub subscribe, give me a subscription, why not, give this video a like, check out WeLiveEntertainment.com, I actually did a written review for this film, uh, and if you'd be so kind, give that a click, give it a like, whatever, and, uh, definitely check out We Live Film here on YouTube, I have a lot of material on there as well, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope I didn't discourage you too much. Um, 
if you want to see the film, by all means, go ahead. But, gotta be honest, I was disappointed. So, peace out, guys. What's up?